Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome to Airport CEO, where today we're going to try and make an airport. Woo! Now, I've had this game a few weeks now and I figured now's a great time to just get this on the channel. Thus, why not? Why not? Now, oh, look at these beautiful specimens of humans. So, we're going to make a little dude. We're going to make him as creepy as I can, clearly. Uh, let's have a look what we got, what skin colors we got. Go for that one. Looks like sad eyes. They look a bit creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Those those mouths are a bit lips are so thin. I'll do let's give him a bit more of a round face. And make a happy little man. Beautiful, let's get a nice suit for this man. Beautiful, we will call him. The John Bates. But more time, a lot of probably designing the airport. Now we are going to be based in England. Where should we go? Now I know, like Leeds, Bradford's kind of around here, and uh, Newcastle's all the way up here. So we're going to go York's around here, Doncaster, Durham. Oh, Le Leeds is not up there. Leeds is like here. If we were putting in the Leeds area, we'll try and put it somewhere else. I think we'll put it in the Leeds area, that's fine. I swear that's to run about where York is. We'll make York International Airport, but we won't be international at the start. We will just be York Airport. Fantastic. Uh, now, what should our code be? Should it be YOK? Or YRK? Yorvik? Yeah, Yorvik. Let's go for that. And we're going to need a beautiful little logo. That one's quite nice. I'll go with that one nice and easy. Large map. And we are going to go on extreme difficulty. So this is Domin from Bobber. This is worst job you'll ever have. You start with 500 grand. And the are very common. Just what we like. We like it to be a disaster. Let's we'll jump straight in there. So here we are. So now we have got plans. I've got an idea of what I want to do for the plan for this area. Um... However, I'm not going to have enough money, so we'll have to take it out loan, and we will kind of kind of follow on with the uh, introduction, uh, kind of follow the tutorial, and um, see where that gets us, but probably will just disappear off the tutorial here and there, and uh, we'll try and get something built up, because if we follow the tutorial, I can guarantee I'll end up building myself into a corner and just getting stuck. So let's start with the introduction, it's first day the job, let's go! Build panel, yep, yeah, nice and flashy, we like that. One different panel, yep, yeah, it tells us everything about our airport, fantastic. Uh, the economy tab that tells us everything that we're spending, which is nothing. Why is it put it in play mode again? Thank you. Uh, operation, so we are closed at the moment. And that basically allows us to turn everything on and off. Fantastic. Yeah, the ratings panel tells us all about our rating. We don't have a rating because we're not open. Uh, you can press tab to open at any time. We've got our uh, flight planet. Well, when we get some flights in there, they'll be able to whack them on there. And that's... The basics of what you need to start, and now it's about building an airport. So it's complex mega structures, so it's best to start with a small airfield. Okay, so if we click next, anytime it comes up blue, that means we have to do something. So it must have a delivery site. We have a delivery site, which is here, and this is the contractor site. So our contractors. So we need some contractors basically. We need to get some guys in to do some building. Uh, so it. so we tab to open that. Up in the economy straight over to the coffee off coffer coffers. The offer contract, so we have got two available. We've got HWY. Um these are offering us 62 contractors at nine pound twenty an hour. And Brinkley, who are gonna be offering us 104 contractors at five pounds seventy an hour, which is a lot cheaper. Um Brinkley's an international construction group, involves some of the biggest structures in the world, founded by Martin Brinkley. Well, makes sense. In nine five six, you think we can build it? I mean they seem like they'll be fine and they are cheaper. What did HW do? do? I mean, they do, they build airports, so the lucky could be to go with them, but I'm going to go with the cheaper guys, because why not? I'm going to sign that across. And now we need to deploy the contractors. We need to get them into the building. So we're going to chuck every single guy in there, and we're going to deploy them in. But before they head in, we're going to just play it, let them come, and we're going to read our email. So Greg Alfonsworth has sent us an email. Welcome to your airport. Thank you for our last meeting. I know you like your new job. I know it isn't much that I know it isn't much at this point, but hopefully you'll do better than the last person who tried to build our town's proud airport. You've got a lot. I like the lot in 
Yeah, we've got a lot of work ahead of us. So you better get to it. I can't give you any tips because I don't know how to run an airport. Well, what you sending me this for? Um, you got a budget to keep to. Well, I figured that while running a business, pal. Uh, good luck, and we'll talk soon. Not looks like the guys have arrived, so I'm just going to pause it. Uh, press staff token, your CEO. Uh, we at the city want to give you a flying start. Hey, the have uh, So I've asked a few people of inside knowledge to contact you. Oh, okay, so we just need to look out for actual people that know what they're talking about to email. So we'll get rid of that. And here they are. Driving on this lovely yellow bus. Lovely shuttle bus. And we've got a few guys there. Got James Jones. Sounds like somebody out of a Marvel film, that, doesn't it? James Jones. Olivia Burzins. Dean Borg. Oh, that looks, looks like my guy, but different skin colour. Okay, I don't know why they have skills. Um, but yeah, people are arriving. So, time to get his hands dirty. So we need to make a plant. Now, instead of sitting here for the next 20 minutes watching me build a plant, I think I'm just going to pause the video, come up with a plant, and get straight back to it. And voila, as if by magic, a plan has appeared. And if you didn't know, pressing P, that will basically change between planning mode and normal mode. Now, I don't know what happened while I was planning, but I somehow managed to gain £2,703. I have no idea how that happened, because all I've done is just place some plans. Now, I will have broken this wonderful tutorial a bit. Um, as you can see, I haven't done anything, and it's changing to place five stands. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through a bit by bit and basically replace what we've got here. Now I know the first step was to build the airstrip. So we will get that down. We'll get the small runway down. And we're also going to get down the entrance and exit way. Now you can do this another way as well. Is basically if you just go into building tools, you can then... Where is it? There you go. Build planned objects. Oh, you can literally just drag what you want building, and it builds it. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to build the runway down. We're going to build each of these stands. We're going to build the pathway for them to drive on. Now this is just like a loop here, so I can put stuff in the middle of it, and everything will come down this left hand side. Doc's getting very excited about this whole airport plan. And then we just need a public road up here. Maybe we can put some car parks here in a bit. But now, we're just going to build this set. This set. This section. Every time I speak, my dog barks. Right, for now, we're just going to build this section. Uh, we are going to need the fence all the way around to stop stray. I've noticed you get a lot of cows that run into this um, building. Uh, I might have to delete this so to connect this fence because I don't want to build all this. I've got nowhere near enough money to build all of this. And we're also going to build, oh, see, they're out of funds just by building that. So, what we're going to do immediately off the bat. You know that my dog stopped having a tantrum, I'll get back to it. Uh, okay, so where were we? That's right, we were taking out a loan. Uh, so just open up the loans there, and there's not many. But we are going to try and take out, I think the uh, DNB ASA. 440 grand, we're going to have to take that one out. Gosh, that's going to cost us 479 grand to pay off. But we are going to need the money, because we're going to need to get a terminal down. So if we don't have a terminal, we're basically not making any money. Thus, guests can't come in, and they can't board the planes. So we're gonna... Do our best, can I... You. I want this section built, I want this section built. We're just doing like half of the airport, basically. I want this section built. Right, so I'm now just gonna let the guys... Blocking fast forward, I'm gonna let them get out. I'm gonna let them build what they need to build. We still have £197,000 left, and that is all going to be used for the interior. Now, all those guys are building. We're going to check out that new email that we've just been sent. From Anita Baff. Um, hello again. Oh, he's saying hello again. This is the first time I've heard from you. My name is Anita. We met briefly over at the Mesa. Oh, okay. Apparently, we've met before. Anyways, you know, think about the Global Aviation Association. 
the Global Aviation Association, that's a tongue twister, comes together and votes on which of the world's top ranking airport that is awarded the Airport Gear Award. Of course, City really wants an investment, and so do we, so try and win it for us. Uh, winning is fairly easy, you just need a rating of over 95% over three years. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fairly easy then. Uh, and here's a full GAA committee checklist. What's the GAA? That'd be nice to know. From Leeds.gov, thank you. Uh, an average airport, airport rating of 95%. Yeah, a yearly passenger through of 10,000 passengers and a yearly turnaround of at least 150 aircraft. Okay. Then Lux, that ain't happening anytime soon. And now we're just going to have to wait for my man to build everything. I mean, the f I know the fence takes an absolute year to build and we are gonna where is the fence we are just gonna because we're not building this section yet so it's not gonna be there it's just in the plan mode we're just gonna cut out so no animals can get in and while i'm doing that we're also gonna build a all aircraft out we are gonna need one of these to let our aircraft go now we'll just squeeze it in there in that little gap now we have got some lovely taxiways here now we need to connect those with taxi paths to the actual airport so if you see these little red dots you basically just need to drag them out and connect the dots drag this all the way across as you can see we have gone to the next step in the tutorial which is place an air traffic control which i've already got you need to kind of know what you're doing the hardest difficulty to get going otherwise you are in a bad situation I'll connect all of these stands. And what we're looking to do is basically just get five general aviation up and running. And then once they're up and running, we'll get our first customers through the door. It is going to take a while, a long while for them to uh, build stuff. Hopefully we can get it done nice and quick. And saying we have another email. Fantastic. Alejandro Tinto says, Good afternoon, my name is Alejandro Tinto and I work as a Senior Partner Executive Vice President. A Senior Partner Executive Vice President, I mean, talk about job titles, within Management and Analysis at Ascento Finance. I'm reaching out because you've recently been appointed the new CEO of a new airport. I want to give some brief instructions on performance reporting. Following up on how your airport is doing is extremely important, something that is done through performance reports. There are four categories, ratings, incidents, economy, operations. And he's already told you about the rating report, so I'll do the other. If you hire a CFO, they'll send you a report for your email and earnings. If you hire a COO, you get a report on incidents. And that's all you need to know. We are Centre of Finance. I mean, thank you, Alejandro Tinto, seeing your partner, Executive Vice President within Management and Analysis at Centre of Finance. It's very nice to hear from you. Um, but we will we will look to hire him. So if we go in our staff and we look at our Executive Committee, we are the only guy here. Um, so we do need a CFO, a COO, a Strategy Director, a Procedure Director, a HR Director, and a CIO. If we get all these, it is worth it. I mean, some of them can be like 50, 50 quid, um, a day or an hour, I can't remember how it works. Um, but you get like it reduces tax by twenty five percent and lowers fines by twenty five percent, and everything is kind of worth it. Um, just let's like say you save five percent on vehicles. Now here we go. Now we're just waiting for this to pop up, um, but we can do um, some of the stuff that it's going to ask us to do later on. So we, we want to allow generally aviation and small aircraft. Um, so we can open that runway. No, we can't until that tower's built. Oh, fantastic. And then here, as you can see, we've got passengers. So I'm going to make these airlines here as passenger airlines. And then that way they're ready for when we get our first people in. And then also, we are going to need a vehicle depot. So we're going to pop that in. We're going to need a fuel depot, fuel aircraft, so I'm going to pop that in. Fantastic. Now, while they're building, there is still stuff that I can be doing. For example, getting a cheeky little staff room in, a little toilet in, and all the likes there. Oops, changing the view there. Um, so I'm just thinking where about to place these. So if I kind of like trim 
this into half. Yeah, pop the That's symmetrical, right? Yep. So I'm just gonna come that in half. And then I'll have my offices, I'll have the toilets, I'll have maybe checking desks and security just smack in the middle. I feel like that'll be the way forward. Um I live in fast forward, but I don't know why I'm playing it. I'm gonna get a a beefy staff room in here because I kinda just want a lot of staff in the one room. And then I'm gonna make myself a nice little office up there, because I'm more important. Just saying, you know, I run the place. I need my own office. Um so I know there's doors of two. We'll sneak that in there. Leave a gap of two again for the door. There we go. Door. Door. Get a large window for these guys. Spending all the money I don't have here. Oh, that's okay. I'll have a window. That's nice. Um, so we get some office desks in here. How shall I go about this? Let's let's have them kind of like facing each other like that. Pop some on this side. The top will be where people can just get on with working. And then the bottom bit, let's give them nice sofas. Relax. There's going to be a lot of staff in here at the start. Give them a cheeky plant. No, they won't mind. Plant or two. I'll just put two plants there. And then I'll give myself a, a nice office here. I'm right in front of the door so everybody can see me at work. Have they started building this? Do they not have a build order? They're not built the... I thought they'd build this next because that's one of the next thing that I got in line, but apparently not. So we're going to make this as... We're going to clear all types. Nice little lag spike there. And then we're just going to place this as CEO, aka me. I'm going to open that up, and then we're also going to... Ooh... We're not going to let contractors come in, because they just, like, they don't actually work for us. And I'm not going to be allowed in here. We're going to leave it for everybody else. Oh, that's going to be open. Fantastic. And then we're going to need a bathroom. Now, notice with stuff like bathrooms, when you build them... Um... You can't place, like, toilets and stuff outside, it's got to be in the zone, so I build the zone. And then... Build the bathroom. So let's do it by four... And... Do a male toilet. By four... And then the sink. Across here by three. Like place one hang dryer. No, oh, we're gonna have to do two sinks now that I'm thinking about it. We are gonna need doors into these rooms. Okay, use your brain. There we go. Brain is working. Fantastic, so that is going to be, I'll open it, even though there's nothing in there, and that's going to be mail. No, oh, I see, I forgot already, look, I need to delete it now, and then redraw it out. There we go, so we have two bathrooms, so we can open this one. The male, open this one as the females, no, nope, not two males, fantastic, and then we're just going to put a little, some little flooring in there. People know it's a bathroom, so it looks like a bathroom. At the same time, we're going to get some cheap carpets down in the offices. Beautiful. Now I just need to just 
leave these guys to get on with it. As so I really need this, and we're on day two, down to 67 grand. I am running out of money, I don't need want to take another loan out. And I can't even build my security desk and anything yet. And that's, that's really important. I, I need security desks. There we go. So now they've built it. So now we can accept our first flights. So we just need to open up the airport, which is great news. And we need to allow general aviation to fly and land. So now we can open up the runway. I'm going to do that. Now we're just going to wait for five flights. So as you can see, these have all come available now. So we just need five flights to come down. I'm just waiting. I don't like this little pond. And here we go. Woo! Congratulations. First flight. So if we just click on the flight, we can see this guy's come from Durham Tees Valley Airport. And he's come to us. So he's, he's landed at 7.41. And he's going to be out of here at 24 minutes past 4. We're just going to wait for four of these flights to land. But while they're doing that, I can hire some fantastic staff. So I'm going to get some administrators in so they can start out learning. Now as I believe right, this bar is how good they work and then obviously that's how much they pay per hour. Now I'm looking at just getting cheap people in to do the job, just do the basics. Um, so I'm not really that fussed about skill level. Um, just hire a load of cheap people. I'd rather have three people for five an hour than one person. Sixteen. Just makes more sense to me. Three people. And you can click it on got so they have a little bit of detail, which is a bit pointless, but this is, she's, she doesn't look 65, but she's born, born in 1947. Uh, and her name is Anya Malkia, and she has a professional degree from Aloha High, and she's worked for 16 years. So she's 65, but she's only worked for 16 years. Previous company I worked for was Space Q. I need help out at the kennel when they need me. I'd love to work at your airport, I mean... Sure, I mean, you get a GPA here. Yeah? That's very American. Let's get you in. Uh, Leno Katoff. Uh, she has a professional degree from Katona High. And she's worked for 14 years. She's 65 as well. She's worked at NYSA. Some nights they work at the shelter. I mean... Jesus, I'm like... Has these got higher GPAs? Yeah, GPA 3.4. Um, but like I say, we're looking for cheap. We're looking for cheap. You look decent. You have a degree from Scarelli University and you've worked for eight years. Your previous company was Airboss. Codes Games is a hobby. I mean, we've got a fellow gamer in. Let's get in there. And let's have a look at this. Miguel, Miguel Rodriguez. He's 58. A lot of old people work here. Previous company you worked was a, 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 a Piapis Flight Engineering. Let's get you in. Right, so while the flight's coming in, those guys are working, I'm then going to go into my... R&D projects, and we're going to get straight away commercial license as fast as we can. So this is going to open it up for everything, and we can actually run the airport. So those guys are going to come in and start working. Oh, we've got three flights, look. We've got a green one, a red one, and a white one. Can we get a blue one and a yellow one, maybe? Can will get all the colours in there? I mean, I'm not going to say it's yellow, but it looks like green to me. We're still running out of money, but we have the basics in. Now, while these guys are not doing anything, I'm just going to get some... There we go. And we can get some seats in. So, we can now offer gas services to these guys. So, we can refuel their vehicles. So, we're going to order a truck. Now, the thing is, we do need signs of one of these guys. So, we have got available... The old BP, uh, natural fuel and zip fuel and avi fuel. So we're just going to have a quick look at these and how much. So it's 1.54 and 0.38 per litre. And I pressed the wrong button. 1.65. The cheaper BP is 1.5. And avi fuel is 1.53. They're 0.31 and they're 0.32. So it's also like BP is going to be the best one to go through. Normally the British Petroleum Company. Uh, let's have a look. Performance in 2012, six like you saw, gas company. Yeah, we'll sign with BP. I mean, they are very cheap for current prices of gas right now, but we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to depress ourselves. Now we have... Did we buy? Yep. So he's going to be here soon, and then we're going to have to wait for him to basically fill up five of these vehicles. So he wants to refuel. Well, that's our little truck. Incoming. 
Fantastic. Now I like that the guys haven't shown up yet. I think it's because that's why. I don't have anywhere for staff to get here. So, I need a bus stop. So we're going to pop the bus stop in. And I need a car stop so people can drive to work. I just need to finish that off. Beautiful. Then I think I'll get these guys out of the way. So they're not blocking the traffic every time that people come to work. So I think I'll go for... Where is it? Yes. We have the contractor site. And we have... Oh, not the bus stop, the delivery site. So we're going to pop them in there. That way we can delete. And I'll wait for them to leave. And delete. Now where are you going? You're leaving the airport. Please come back. Please? Mr. Mr. Oil Chuck? Mr. BP Chuck? I, I need oil. I, I can't do anything till you give me... There. There we go. Please don't turn around randomly this time. That way. Left. Left. Beautiful. Nice turn. Nice turn. Right. Go from a gate. Go from a gate. Oh, there we got a nice cow. Moo moo. Now he should fill up here. Yep, so he's filling the tank. Fantastic. Now we have got the completed project of our commercial license, so we've unlocked a hell of a lot of information here. Um, so we're going to straight away start a new project. We're going to get night flights so we can basically run flights all day, all night. Non stop. And speaking of that, we have been given an email. And we are out of funds. Fantastic. So I can't afford anything right now. So we're just going to read this really quickly. Hi, I'm Clara Default. Our project money is at City Office and I represent our nation's aviation administration. If you want to reach out and congratulate your new role, but I'm also managing the responsibilities that come with it. Um, so basically, we need to be safe. Yes. Uh, and I know passengers are baggage dangerous, otherwise we're going to get fined. Uh, we have to take security safety, otherwise we get fined. Uh, if you have commercial license, yeah, 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 that's fine. She's just basically telling us to, um, oops. Just telling us to, um, to not mess up, basically. Um, so the fuel's there, so that guy can start fueling, but I have run out of money at big time. I don't know why I just lost 47 grand, though. I don't know what that was all about. Is it because I completed the, completed the R&D project? I may have to take out another loan. But that seems like an issue for another day. We will leave it there and hopefully next time we come in we can start looking at getting some actual passengers in and get some money. And just as this flight is coming in, where are you coming in from pal? You are coming in from... Ben Bakula Airport. Never heard of it. Just up to Scotland. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And hopefully next time, we cannot be in the red. Whee!